What's up? I'm Matt Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm here in the Slaunch Garage. You can tell I'm not still out of town doing some bass fishing, but as you can tell from the thumbnail and title of this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of pre-spawn bass fishing in this video. I've loved the feedback I've gotten from my trip. The last couple videos down in Gunnersville in Alabama, one of the best bass fishing lakes in the world. And so we're going to go right back there in just a second to go the last day, the last hurrah, the last... The last lots of stuff. I like Gunner Souls. Stick around just a second. Want to let you guys know before we head down to Abilama, I do have one thing to mention to you guys, and that is I just got my Pro Box for the month of March from Mystery Tackle Box. So we're going to go through that in just a second. If you guys aren't familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, it's a tackle subscription box um, that comes to your door every single month. A lot of people have been asking about my new promo code because it did change. You got to use the promo code SLAUNCH, S L A U N C H. Click the link down below, use the promo code SLAUNCH. And you can get your first box. You can try this for as little as $5. I equated that last time. That's how much I probably spend every day on energy drinks. So for five bucks, your choice is to either get a box full of tackle goodies. We're gonna go through in a second. Or you can get poison. Usually I choose tackle every single time, most of the time. So let's check out what's in this box really quick here. Then we'll get down to the fishing. Of course, we got our, our little, oh man, look at that. That's a pretty cool looking little sticker guy. Got our list of what is inside. Let's take a look just really, really quick. Got the old catch code death stalker. That's a blade bait. If you guys like to catch all different species like we do at the white bass and wiper lakes, of course I catch bass too. That's going to be badass. Um, I don't even know what this is, but it's really cool. Uh, looks like a wake. Yep. This is definitely a wake bait. This is called the runt. Got some fish testing that guy. Oh God, look at that. A 1.5 size square bill, a red one. That's what we just used the other day. So this is definitely going to be getting used. Awesome for pre-spawn fishing. Oh my God. I've never seen this color of vile bug. I've caught a bunch of fish flipping this vile bug, but this is a different color. This is a white one. This is actually going to be awesome during the spawn or whenever you're flipping docks where there's a lot of shad in the lakes, white flipping bait. This guy's gonna be killer. And I'll show you guys how we use those here when we actually get some bedding fish. Got the old swing head jig. You guys like swing heads? Pop, pop. And oh my God, look at that. A $15 bait. Really good looking bluegill hard bait. 1.5 size in my box. I'd say we did pretty damn good. Again, if you guys want to try Mystery Tackle Box, click the link below. Use the promo code to get your first box of this amazing tackle for as little as $5. All right, let's go down to Gunnersville and catch some fish. Oh, and one more thing. I'm gonna be giving this box away to a lucky MF at the end of the video so you can have all these baits for yourself. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll tell you how you can win this box. Okay, actually, let's go to Gunnersville this time. What's up, MFers? Welcome to day three at Lake of the Gunnersville. Um, let's try to not suck so bad today. Actually, I mean, we can't say it's a bad thing. There's ice on the lakes at home. We're gonna fish some new water today. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen. We got the dudes from Native Color back behind me. They're gonna be fishing with me once again with us today. And uh, we're gonna put them on some fish. They're gonna film me, hopefully catching some fish. I'm gonna try not to hit the dock with my nice shiny new boat and engine. And uh, yeah, let's take this thing down the lake and go fast and uh, find some pre-spot bass. Okay, let's go. All right, I'll be back in an hour. Can't catch any fish, at least I'll take a giant dump. Not a babe, that's a big one. Big head. Yay. On the chatterbait. Man, that's like a big female that doesn't look very healthy. What the hell? Looks spawned out. Chatter bait, huh? <laughs> Chattering bait. Chattering bait. Okay. Chatter bait, huh? Interesting. I should reel that fish in that's on. All we can do is catch fish on chatter baits on this trip. Not a bad one. Probably about to come off. Not a good one either. He's fat. Does that count for anything? Yep. Yep. Tricked another one. Wow. I don't know what's happening, but something. Lunch time. You hungry still? Better one? Nope, not really. They're heavy. Heavy and fat, short and fat. Roll tide and stuff. That's what they say here in Alabama. Catch fish, 
you say roll tide. I'll say hello to somebody, you say roll tide. Pissed off, you say roll tide. Want lunch? Roll tide. Want to catch something bigger than a pound and a half? I don't know what the f you say. Fucking shallow. These guys about can't get their damn boats out of here. It's a better one. Oh. Biggest one, I hooked in two days. My first flip in there though, so probably not the only one. Yep. Giant. Oh, we shrunk, damn it. So random. So random. So it probably looks to you guys like we're fishing out in the middle of the lake, out in the middle of nowhere, and this is uh, the only thing we're, we're getting any bites on, the stupid chatterbait. Once again, two days in a row. But the reason we're getting bit is what's right down there. I would assume you guys can see that there's giant, I'm actually, I'm hung in it here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, actually I didn't catch it for one time. There we go, we caught some. We got a whole bunch of uh, milfoil down there. Josh was saying it mats up in the summer in here real bad, which I can totally see because it's March and it's already, a lot of it's to the surface, but not catching them out of the stuff that's topped out, but there's spots in here that are a little bit lower, so the fish are kind of staged up in the edge of it. Unfortunately, none of them are big. Lost the only flipping bite I had today, and that has been it. It's been rough, but we're going to give it a little go for a little bit longer, hit a couple more spots, see if that does the trick, and then uh, probably drive my sorry ass back to Omaha snow maha in alaska i saw that on a shirt the other day that's pretty fitting because it has snowed about 72 feet so far this winter hopefully it's friggin' done i gotta go see what that shit is that's bizarre it might be it's got like mud around it or some shit. i can't even tell it definitely looks like there's a grass line right there so at least there's that i've never seen anything like that it's got to be a spring that is strange it's like clean too, it's gotta be a spring. Mm. Mm. <laughs> there is a few fish in here. Didn't feel very big. That does. Yep, not a big one. Just bit like it, little dickhead. My new PB. Chatterbaits and stuff, I guess. I'm gonna catch another one right now. So I'm gonna do. We're staying all night. A bunch of little guys around here, man. <laughs> it's like every cast. Here's your sandwich. Still hungry? Here you go. Good luck. Roll tide. Roll tide. That was a good one. All right, so a little recap of Gunnersville. Um, I sucked balls at actually figuring out anything the fish were doing in any type of consistent pattern other than throwing that chatterbait around the shallow grass. It just flat out got bit so much better than the lipless bait did. Josh caught the first fish of the day doing it, and so I was just like, I'm going back to the chatterbait. As soon as I made that change, I caught a fish on it. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna argue with the fish when that's the only thing that seemed to be biting. Fish seem to be in a weird phase there, and I'm sure by now, which is like five days after when I filmed this video, it's probably on fire, because the fish were, they just weren't quite ready to move up. It was like 50 degree water, cold muddy water on the main river, so that bite was kind of shitty, and it recently cooled down to that temperature. Um, but they didn't, they just didn't want to push up in their big groups or big numbers like they should. I've been getting a ton of questions since I was down there about MFers going down to fish at Gunnersville in the next couple weeks that want to know how to catch some fish. I would definitely throw that lipless crank. I use the uh, the Quake from Six Sense uh, and the vibrating jig. I'll link everything down below. Fish secondary points, fish a lot of those humps and stuff with a lot of that eelgrass and hydrilla. And then of course the bridge corners are always good. A big wave, the first thing when those fish push up, first thing they're gonna get on, especially if there's current in those creeks, that was key. Bridge bite was pretty much worthless uh, except for the very first morning, and that's because there was a ton of current pulling out of those creeks, and that's because the water level was dropping a little bit. They were letting more water out of Gunnersville at the bottom dam um, than they were putting into it. Now, the last two days I was there, 
there was almost the exact same amount of water going in as there was flowing out. So what happens is the current still rips on the main channel, but it doesn't suck or raise or anything with that water um, on all those creek bridges. So it pretty much went dormant. Couldn't even get them dragging a shaky head or anything. I tried. Trust me, guys. I tried. But anyways, by now, yeah, I would be doing that. Corners of bridges, especially when there's current. And then, of course, push back underneath those bridges into some of those shallow grass patches. Some of those patches are giant, so find irregularities, fish the edge of it, fish where they come up higher, fish where there's a hole and it's a little bit down deeper. And of course, a lot of those big females will love to get up on some dock posts, some lay down, stuff like that, hard cover. Anyways, that's my spiel on what you should be doing if you're going to go to Gunnersville. I'm seriously jacked that so many of you guys hit me up and were like, what should I do? I saw your videos. Um, I, I saw you were just there because that means so many of you guys are out fishing, and that is my goal here. I want to get as many of you guys out fishing as possible. Clear that's happening, which is awesome. Thumbs up to you, MFers. All right, let's give this box away, the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for the month of March. We're going to do our typical deal. Three simple steps. Leave a thumbs up, go subscribe to Melican Fishing, and drop a comment down below. Comment what type of video you want to see in the next couple weeks. It's kind of shitty right now in Nebraska, not going to lie. We got the flood of the damn century that just came in. I literally, I can't even travel right now hardly because every direction around me, the interstates are closed. There's been some people reaching out asking me if everything's good here. Luckily, Omaha is, uh, it's pretty high up. There's no, not really any chance uh, of my area of Omaha flooding, but it's, there's some bad stuff happening for a lot of people. So I hope we can, uh, we can find a way to go help some people out during this, this situation because it is really bad here in Nebraska, but let's get back to, let's, let's talk about the box. Anyways though, do those three simple steps, thumbs up, subscribe to Melican Fishing, leave a comment of what video you want to see coming up. One week from today, I'm going to pick a winner with a random comment generator, get your information and send this guy right out to you guys. Again, click the link below, go try Mystery Tackle Box, promo code SLAUNCH, get that guy super, super cheap. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. I got a couple good videos for you and then I just need to go explore and get some more content for you guys because uh, we're getting there though. We almost have ice off on all the lakes around here. We got a nice warming trend. Um, so things are starting to happen, and hopefully before too long, fish will be fired up. We'll be taking this beautiful black beast out on a lot of the local lakes. Won't be traveling 14 hours. But anyways, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to Melica Fishing. I'll catch you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.